Welcome to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi, and today I'm going to show you how to find the tempo of a beat using the Identify Beat feature in Pro Tools. Knowing the tempo of a beat allows you to take full advantage of grid mode. This is especially useful if you're going to be copying and pasting parts of your track, such as the chorus, or creating your own stutter effects. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's start by finding Identify B. You're going to go to the top where it says Event, and below Beat Detective is Identify B. If you're using Mac, the keyboard shortcut is Command I. I'm not sure what it is for Windows. I apologize. Now, in order for Identify B to work properly, we need to select a loop that's a minimum of two bars, and this gives Identify B the proper bar count that it needs to determine the tempo. Now, the way that I like to do this is I like to go to a part of the beat where the jumps stand out the most. Now, here I have a beat that I made personally. Um, let's go ahead and play it. Now, I already gave myself a starting point here for the tutorial, so I'm not wasting your time here. Let's start here. This is where the kick starts. So as you can see, it started to loop here. So this is going to be a two bar loop. So let me count it out for you. It's going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, the way that I like to do this is I like to use the tap to transient feature. And that's this little button right here that's next to the magnifying glass on the bottom left. The cool thing about using tap to transient is every time you hit the tab button, it'll move to the next detectable transient and or spike if you want to call it that. So what I want to do is I want to get it to that point where the kick hits. So I would say it's right there. And then let me play it just to make sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the clip right there. And I'm going to do that by going to edit, separate clip, add selection, or the keyboard shortcut is Command E. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to play it from there. Four, one, two, three, four. So the next um, beginning of the loop is right here. So I'm going to use once again the tab to transient, tab, cut. And I'm going to loop this just to make sure that this is a loop. So let's go ahead and play it. OK, so. Now we can work with um, Identify Beat. So let's go to the top where it says Event. Go to Identify Beat. We're going to assume that the beginning of the loop is at bar 1. And the end of the loop here is going to be at bar 3. And you're probably asking, well, well wait, we're doing the two-bar loop. Why does it end at 3? And I'm going to show you a quick example here. Now, when you're counting entire bars, you're counting everything that's from one bar to the next. So in this case, if we were to put starting at 1 and ending at 2, then we're only doing one bar. But since we need the whole second bar, we need to end it at three. So now we are counting everything that's within bar one and two and ending at three. So we're gonna go back to our selection and highlight it, go to event, identify beat. We're gonna start at one, end at three, and we're gonna click okay. Now right here in the green bar here, this is a tempo meter. It has switched to 130.1077. You can round this out to 130, and I can guarantee you that this tempo is indeed 130 because I'm the one that composed this beat. Now what we're going to do next is change the tempo of the entire session. So I'm going to do undo, 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 and now those cuts are gone. And I'm going to go enter, hit enter or return on my keyboard to get back to the very beginning of the session. And I'm going to go to event, tempo operations, tempo operations window, starting at 1, ending at 1 because we're going to change the entire session here. And we're going to go... 130 apply so now let's go ahead and switch to grid mode and we're going to go divide it into quarter notes so now every bar here should be the beginning of a, of a loop and to further confirm that we do have the proper tempo i have a metronome here that obviously goes to the the tempo of the session so let's go ahead and play it Okay, 
So this is how you find the tempo of a beat using the Identify B feature in Pro Tools. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment as it allows us to reach many others interested in music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.